Hello friends, welcome to LMSSeries.com. In today's episode, I am going to show you how to easily create multi-language content in Moodle. There may be times that you need to provide your course content to the students in different languages. A student can have any language uh, as their preferred language in Moodle, and you can create the content so that it will be displayed automatically in their preferred language. So let me show you how you can create multi-language content easily in Moodle. So as you can see for this thing, uh, we are going to use a plugin which is named as multi-language content v2, which is essentially a filter plugin. So you need to download this and then install it on your Moodle site first of all. Once you are done with installation of this filter plugin then you need to go to the site admin and go to the plugins section and then scroll down to the filters here and click on manage filters here you will see the list of enabled filters on your Moodle site as of now so let me just check it out okay yes so here we have this multi-language content to e2 filter which is currently disabled so let me click on this on and as you can see now it is on so let me make this available for content as well as for headings so this is how we can enable any filter in Moodle once it is enabled then you can go to any course and start creating your multi-language content in the same course so let me navigate to a course and add a page activity so as So as you can see now I am on a course page and let me add a page here. Okay, let me go to the page and let me give it a name as multi language filter test. In the page content area you need to define your course content in essentially two different languages let me put it first as this is the sorry that's for english and maybe this is the text in spanish let me show you how to define the tags to, so that this specific text will only be shown to the users who have English as a preferred language and this specific piece of text will be shown to the users who have the Spanish language as a preferred language. For, for that thing to happen you need to define this piece of content in uh, specific tags which are named as mlang tag so let me show you how to put that tag. You need to start it with the curly braces like this and then put M blank and you need to give the name of this language as EN since it is English so it is defined as EN and then you need to close this brackets and afterwards you need to put the closing tag for this English language as again M blank and the curly braces and that is it. So this piece between these two tags will be shown for the users who have English as the preferred language. And similarly, let us define this tag for the Spanish language here below. So instead of EN, it will be ES. And I will just copy this another tag in the bottom. <coughs> yeah. I hope that it shall work now so let me just click on save and display so i have english as the preferred language so we shall see only this line and not this line for us so yes as you can see that now this is the text for english i can see only the text which is mentioned in the english language let me see if i can change my language to spanish and how it will be displayed Okay, I go to proper language, choose Spanish as my proper language. And I'm not able to read, but let me go to 
in my process and uh, I hope this is the one which we added so let me click on this one so this is the text in Spanish as you can see now uh, I can see the text only in Spanish language so this is how you have to use the multi-language filter in Moodle to create your course content for different languages thank you very much for watching this video if you like this then please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon on our youtube channel thank you very much for watching